Hi, my name is Dave Holmes. Welcome back to CyclingPhysio.com. I'm happy to announce that for the 2011 season, we picked up a local shop sponsor, and that shop is Speed Theory. I'm excited because it's going to give me the opportunity to bring you a lot more coverage of the great racing we've got going on here in Alberta, including some inside looks at some of the major races on the calendar and some more local club features. So as a way of saying thank you, I thought it'd be fun to go inside, talk to the good folks here at Speed Theory, and see some of the things they're excited about for the 2011 season. All right, so I'm standing here with the manager of Speed Theory, Darcy Bell. And Darcy, why don't you tell us a little bit about how long Speed Theory's been in Calgary and how the shop got started? Well, originally this shop was actually opened as Way Past Fast, uh, sort of the uh, secondary shop of Way Past Fast up in Edmonton. Um, eventually we morphed into Speed Theory. That was well, before my time, probably about five years ago, I believe. I've been here a little over three years now, been with the shop. And uh, actually last year, last March, a little over a year ago now, we moved down to this new location, beautiful new space down uh, downtown Calgary, yeah. and kind of gone from there. So you got on board just as everything kind of hit the fan and they could uh, change locations and you had to organize that whole thing. Hey? Well, I, think, I like to think that was me. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Right on, right on. Yeah. Well, let's look at bikes. So this is the R3 here from Cervelo. Uh, new for this year, they do four different builds. You can do Rival, which is this here. We've got SRAM Red, uh, which is the higher end one. We've got Shimano as well. We've got Altegra, and we've got a Dura Ace as well. Uh, new for the R3 this year is a system called BB Right. It's right in here. So you can see if you zoom in there, uh, nice and wide in the bottom bracket. That's the idea there is to add some stiffness to that. So one of their uh, key uh, components on the R3 this year. So they keep it with the super ultra thin seat stays for the comfort, right? Super thin where it counts and that makes it comfortable and a uh, very uh, plush ride, but at the same time you've got stiffness where it matters in that bottom bracket area. you still got the uh, what they call squoval uh, tubes up front here. And the idea there is get as much aerodynamics as you can get for still having that lightweight bike. So it is a very stiff, lightweight bike, very aerodynamic still, and kind of the all-round ride. So. All right, well, we're sitting here with a Focus. Now, lots of people may have seen Focus on Tour de France, but have never actually seen one in person. They're, they're the Katusha sponsor for this year. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this brand? Yeah, that's right. They were uh, Katusha sponsor this year, uh, Mill Run from last year. Um, very rare in North America, especially in Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw them down at Interbike in Vegas uh, last uh, September, and it really impressed us. So we thought we'd bring it in and uh, bring it to, to Canada, and uh, it's been quite well so far. So this is the uh, Focus Chrono. This is their time trial bike, which we've um, sponsored one of our riders with. So we've got a nice fancy disc on yeah, the front wheels. Well, we've really dressed it up for them. Big so, pimpin'. Exactly. Yeah. We have this, we have many other Focus as well, road bikes. Um, they do mountain bikes as well, which we can bring in. It's not something we stock, but uh, yeah. yeah. I, I gotta tell you, the, the trailing edge of this top tube is like a razor, like you could cut yourself on that. Watch like this yourself. is a... Yeah. This is a, a Walsner design. Yeah. So he's done the, uh, a lot of time trial bikes for some of the Tour de France riders. And uh, that's one of his, yeah. his main points is having that very sharp edge yeah. there. So. Looks fast. Exactly. So this is uh, another one of the brands we carry, R18, uh, another good old Canadian company, just like Cervelo. Uh, these guys are based out of Montreal. So this is their Galleon Pro. This is their high-end road bike, uh, built up folder ice. We've got the deep dish uh, Reynolds wheels as well. So this is the show bike. Um, and you can see, if you come in a little closer there, then you can see here, um, again, you've got nice big bottom bracket there too. That's All that huge. material around that bottom bracket, again, for the stiffness. Not like the R3, it doesn't have the wide bottom bracket, but there's still a lot of uh, material around it. Um, and instead, what they've done is they've taken material out of here on the top tube and put it down there just so you've got stiffness in the right place. Again, you're fairly thin through the, uh, the seat stays here, that kind of thing. So very stiff, very lightweight bike again.
All right, Darcy, why don't you tell me about some of the events that you guys are sponsoring for uh, 2011? Yeah, for sure. So obviously we are a cycling store here, but we're also very into triathlon, as you can see with the, uh, all the rubber, all the wetsuits around. So um, with that, we do sponsor some of the town, some of the races in town here. Uh, the big one being the Calgary 70.3, the half Ironman here in town. Huge event, for sure. It is, yeah. It's great fun, and we just cross our fingers every year and hope that the weather holds. So. That'll be uh, didn't really, July 31st. It didn't really hold last year. It didn't, but we'll, we'll hope, hope for better this year. July 31st this year is the uh, Ironman that we sponsor. Uh, again, we've picked up uh, this early season one. This is Joe's Team Triathlon. Uh, this is a, a, a cancer uh, triathlon, kind of like the uh, Ride to Conquer Cancer, but the triathlon version of it. So we're pretty excited about that one. And then the third one we do is the uh, Bath Triathlon from uh, the Western Subaru Series. Uh, this one here is... What is it? September 10th this year, so a little bit later in the season. Kind of gets people, keeps people excited about racing right through into September. I went out and watched that one last year with uh, with Grant and John taking number one and number two was uh, yeah was pretty yeah. exciting again. Not the best weather they had. It Actually, was we didn't really get a summer. It was, uh, no, they had to shorten the swim. They were swimming in like with ice cubes <laughs> they were coming out of their nose. I think anyway. Yeah. Cool. Well, I mean, Speed Theory has been very involved with the local scene. So definitely, if you're in the market for a new bike. Try and support a shop that supports your sport. 